Every day this week, it seemed like Americans woke up to new chaos on American campuses across the country, be it Columbia, UCLA, where students, and we now know uh, outside agitators, were organizing, in their view, to protest for the rights of Palestinians. But of course, the counter to that is that these protests have devolved into something much worse, which is just forums for hatred and anti-Semitism. And this week, Congress actually responded to it in a pretty significant way. On Thursday, House of Representatives passed a bill called the Anti-Semitism Awareness Act. And the biggest part of this is it has the federal government broadening the definition of anti-Semitism to comply with a standard that has been put out by the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance. And the biggest thing here is it now includes a, a, a definition of anti-Semitism. Doesn't just include direct attacks on Jewish people, it also includes language that would delegitimize the entire state of Israel. So the point being, this is a bill that protects free speech and freedom of expression. Um, were it to actually become law, there is nothing that would prevent anybody from criticizing the government of, of Israel or its conduct. But the one thing you wouldn't be able to do is to try to make claims that Israel should be wiped off the face of the map. And so hopefully this is the kind of legislation that would recenter our debate a bit in the country, that would help put a curb on some of this horrific anti-Semitism that we're seeing uh, on campuses and elsewhere. It isn't clear yet if it's going to become law. It still has to get through the Senate and to the president's desk, but it is at least a meaningful first step to show people all across the country that hatred in all its forms, and particular, particularly anti-Semitism, is not something that this country should tolerate.